Every 20 hours, a rhinoceros in South Africa is killed for its horn. These horns are then trafficked worldwide, often used in traditional medicines or as status symbols. This high demand has led to their horns fetching prices higher than gold, platinum, diamonds, and even cocaine. Despite many dedicated efforts to end this illegal trade, poaching persists due to the high demand. Sadly, rhino horns play a large role in funding a wide variety of criminal activities globally, says Professor James Larkin of Wits University. Our goal is to devalue rhinoceros horn in the eyes of end users, while making it easier to detect as it's smuggled across borders. Then someone came up with the idea of going nuclear in the battle against poaching. This objective led to the creation of the Rhizotope Project, which uses nuclear technology to combat poaching. By inserting small measured quantities of radioisotopes into rhino horns, these can be detected by radiation monitors at international borders, including harbors, airports, and land crossings. After three years of dedicated work, the Rhizotope Project at Wits University successfully inserted low doses of radioisotopes into 20 live rhinoceroses. In collaboration with a team of experts in rhino conservation and veterinary science, Larkin will monitor the rhino's health and vital statistics over six months to determine the viability of this approach. The radioisotopes provide an affordable, safe, and effective method to create detectable horn markers that cause no harm to the animals or the environment. The project's future phases will expand to elephants, pangolins, and other species. Pioneered in the UNESCO Waterberg Biosphere Reserve, the project benefits from existing nuclear security infrastructure worldwide. Over 11,000 radiation detection portal monitors are installed at airports, harbors, and other entry points, with thousands of trained personnel equipped with radiation detectors. In contrast, the infrastructure and personnel to detect wildlife trafficking are extremely limited. Starting on June 24, 2004, Professor Larkin and his team carefully sedated 20 rhinos and drilled a small hole into each horn to insert non-toxic radioisotopes. The rhinos were then released under the care of a highly qualified crew, monitoring them 24-7 for six months. Each insertion was closely monitored by expert veterinarians, ensuring no harm to the animals. Extensive research and testing confirmed that the radioisotopes posed no health risks to the rhinos or their caretakers. The development and application of the Rhizotope Project's nuclear technology have the capacity to help deter poaching, enhance smuggled horn detection, increase prosecution success, reveal smuggling routes, and deter end-user markets. Rhino poaching reached crisis levels in 2008, with nearly 10,000 rhinos lost in South Africa. Wildlife trafficking is now the third largest organized crime globally, following drug and human trafficking. The Rhizotope Project at Wits University was established in January 2021 by a small team of like-minded individuals as a South African-based conservation initiative. Their goal is to become a global leader in harnessing nuclear technology to protect endangered species and communities. The project exemplifies a creative and innovative approach to wildlife conservation, using advanced science to address complex problems. If successful, it could revolutionize how we protect not only rhinos, but also other vulnerable species from illegal poaching and trafficking, contributing significantly to global conservation efforts. This use of nuclear technology could be a game changer in the fight against rhino poaching, potentially saving these magnificent creatures from extinction and ensuring their survival for future generations. Don't stop here, find out more. Visit the links in the description below for more in-depth information on the stories presented in this video.